Alright guys, what's going on? Today we are talking about the Lakers Summer League team. Jack, do you want to give us a quick overview of what you think about the team? Right, so what I'd say about the Lakers is that they have some... They're the team with the most NBA players potentially on their roster. I think the only team that's close is the Portland Trailblazers. But, I mean, the Lakers, they have Jabari Brown. They have uh, Robert Upshaw, Anthony Brown. And those are the like lesser-known guys. Yeah, Obviously, are, most yeah. people will know about... Jordan Clarkson, D'Angelo Russell, Julius Randle. Right, so. absolutely. And I think that when you look at this team and you look at the Summer League team, and I think you have to think, if you're a Lakers fan, this is kind of what the team of the future is going to look like, at least right now, with Kobe. Because with Kobe, I don't think the Lakers are going to be getting too many free agents. Kobe kind of, he still has that, you know, me against the world mindset. So I think that looking at this summer league team, that's kind of the team that you're rooting for. Right, yeah. I would say that the thing about the Lakers summer league team is that, yes, there's a lot of talent on it, Right. but I wouldn't expect them to necessarily all perform well because True. I think they're not in... I, it's not the best environment, I right. would say. Right, I agree. There is a losing culture in L.A. right now. Yeah, and, and I think that a lot of times when you have a team that's very young and that's, you know, built together as a young team, you, you know, sometimes they turn out like Golden State and, you know, their their draft picks uh, flourish and they all play well. And sometimes they turn out like someone like, say, uh, Orlando, who hasn't really put it together yet. There's a chance. But they have a lot of young players and they haven't been able to do much. Right. But the one thing I would say that is a little bit troubling about the Lakers right now is a lot of the guys on the Lakers... Especially like Clarkson. Yeah. If you look at Clarkson, you look at Russell, you look at Brown, they all do the same thing. Right. They all like to be ball dominant yeah. guards who who can dribble and pull up, who can I mean, uh Russell's obviously the best passer of that group. Right. And Clarkson and Brown are more the scorers. Right. But yeah. right now that Lakers team's got Kobe Bryant and Nick Young. Yeah, so it's so. a little you're you're not too sure who's gonna get the ball. And, you know, obviously Russell can be the distributor, but he likes to score as well. So, like we said, it, it's a little it's a little interesting, this so, conflict. So now let's talk a little bit about what we've seen exactly from the Summer League and what we think can carry forward going into the NBA season. So let's talk about some, some of the, the players, right. obviously. Let's talk about the players on their team who we think can actually play in the league. Right. So let's quickly talk about Clarkson and let's talk about Russell. Okay. And Brown, actually, because okay. those are the three guys I mentioned as being similar. So, yeah. first of all, who do you think, as far as minutes are concerned with those three guys, Yes. how do you think it uh, breaks Lays down? down? Yeah. Okay, I think uh, I think Clarkson's probably going to be starting, I think, shooting guard right now. I think that's where they're going to start him at. And I think that, uh, I think that they're going to start Russell at point guard, and then Anthony Brown is going to come off the bench, uh, probably play... Eight to ten minutes, something like that. What about Jabari Brown? Jabari Brown, I think, also similar come off the bench type of role. I think it'll depend on how he'll continue to play in summer league and in uh, preseason. But I think that he could wind up potentially being uh, maybe a seventh man after Nick Young, if they keep Nick Young. That is, uh, I really like Jabari Brown. I just want to add that. Yeah, I was gonna say actually that I think if they're able to get rid of Nick uh, Young, yeah. Jabari Brown can slide into Nick Young's role. Yeah. And I mean, at a lesser extent, because Nick Young's getting about 25 minutes off the bench, maybe right. play Brown 15 because you got right. Russell now. Right. But I think he can do a lot of the same things that Nick Young can do, and I think he can be more of a pest on the defensive end because he's still got to earn his contract. Yeah. So, I don't know. As far as the guards are concerned, I think that those guys are going to play well. And I think Russell... I know he's struggling right now. It's only his second or third uh, last night against the Knicks was only his third, you know, NBA type game. He hasn't even played in an NBA game. He hasn't even played in a preseason game. So for the first time, he's playing against guys who are, you know, generally all the, his same level of talent. So yeah, he is going to struggle a little bit. But we've seen his excellent passing and his instincts on uh, on display. I think it's just it's only a matter of time before he's he's probably a little nervous. So it's only a matter of time before he really starts hitting his shots consistently. All right, now let's talk about the bigs on this summer league yes. team that could also potentially play in the NBA. Yes. So, t 
Tarek Black. You think they're bringing him back? Absolutely. I really like Tarek Black. I think he he uh, he's not going to give you much scoring wise, but I like him as a defender. He's rangy. He's a decent shot blocker. He can get rebounds. I think he's very good coming off the bench. I really like Tarek Black, and I think that he'll definitely be back. Yeah, Tarek Black. I know this may not be the most flattering. Uh, I guess player comparison. Yeah. He reminds me a lot of Ronnie Turioff. Right. Come in, play good defense as a center, rebound. Right. Not a great shot blocker. Someone who's been playing for 10, 12 years yeah, as, I, a, as a rotational big. I know this guy was undrafted. He he wasn't. He got um, outplayed by Joel Embiid and so therefore supplanted the starting lineup. Right. But for some reason, he just looks like a guy who's going to stick around for however many more years. Right. Um, let's see here. So Larry Nance Jr. is their first round pick. Yes. And Robert Upshaw, an undrafted center. Yes. What do you think about those two guys? Um, I think Nance is okay. I think that, I think that Nance is alright. I think that he has some potential. I don't know if he's going to make the roster just because of how many spots they have and, uh, if he's good enough really to make it. But I, I do like his potential. I think he has a decent shot of, of doing it. Um, and then moving on to Upshaw, I really like Upshaw and his potential. And he's shown some things throughout Summer League. He hasn't really put it together yet. And I think he's a project player who's basically just, you're looking for him to to get good potentially. So I think that uh, he could he could be possibly like a Hassan Whiteside where down the road he could be good. He also has similar, you know, uh, attitude issues. So we'll see with Robert Upshaw. But I really like the pickup. And also, they recently signed him to, a, I think, a two-year contract with the first year fully guaranteed so they they clearly want to keep him right i would say um just to clear something up though larry right. nance jr will make the roster because okay. his contract is guaranteed oh okay because he's a first round pick um that's right I always and then, forget about yeah that. lastly though we'll round. talk about the uh, lakers first rounder from last year right. broke his leg julius right. randall's looked a bit rusty what do you think about Randall really quickly? Right. Well, uh, I was I mentioned this before uh, when, I, when I was talking to you, Jack, uh, before we recorded. I'm, I'm a little worried about Randall because he's looked like a bull in the china shop. I understand he broke his leg and that he's coming back from that. But he really is taking bad shots. He's not converting well. Uh, he's rebounding decently. But, you know, I, I, there's, I'm not giving up hope, but I'm a little worried. All right. Well, that's our take on the Lakers Summer League. Uh, clearly we think there's a lot of talent on this team, but it's going to take time. So if you want to hear us talk about anyone else's Summer League, or you want to hear us talk about your team's Summer League, please leave it in the comments below, and we will be sure to give you a great analysis on your team. Alright, thank you guys.